Hey everyone, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com and in this video I'm going to be going over a free WordPress website backup and migration plugin. Now, one of my most popular videos on my channel is a video about how to clone one website from one domain name to a new domain name. But the problem with that video is now that the plugin has not been updated in over two years. So I wanted to go with something more up to date. And in this sponsored video, I'm going to be covering WP Vivid. And if you want to learn more about them, you can go to their website, WPVivid.com. And I'm just going to go through how to actually set up and install their plugin and how to do two different types of migrations with their plugin after you back it up. So if you're looking to move your website from one domain name to a new domain name and basically clone it or migrate it right over, stick around for this tutorial. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be moving this dummy site here over from wpvivid.wpwithtom.com over to this basic install over here on test.wpwithtom.com. And I'm going to be doing that by first installing the plugin. And we're actually going to need to install the plugin on both of the domain names for this to work. So let's go and go to add new. You're going to go to plugins, add new. And then I'm just going to put in WP Vivid here, and it should be the only one to pop up. Now, as you can see, it was just updated 17 hours ago. It says compatible with our version of WordPress, over a thousand active installs at this time, and almost a perfect five star rating. So this plugin is off to a great start. And I love that it was updated recently, not like the two plus years ago, like the previous plugin that I recommended in an older video for cloning a website. So, I'm going to go and click install now and I'm going to do the same on my other page over here for test.wpwithtom.com. So now it's going to be installed on both of these pages and I'll activate it on each of them as well. So now the plugin is on both pages and activate it on both pages. And you see that there's these options. Now you're going to have on the left sidebar this WP Vivid backup and you can see the options over here. And you can also just click on that and see the options here as well. So we have backup and restore, schedule, auto migration, remote storage, settings, website info, logs, and key. So I'm going to go over the process of how to actually backup and restore this by using this first method in this first tab here. And it gives you different options. It says database and files for the entire website all files excluding the database or only database and this is where you choose which kind of files you want to back up i would recommend doing one of the first two in these cases i'm going to go with the database and files for the entire website here and then over here you can choose if you want to save the backups to local or send the backup to remote storage such as something like google drive or dropbox so what i'm actually going to do here is i'm going to just click save backups to local and then i'm going to start the backup now process and then i'm going to run through some of these other features within the plugin while it's actually doing the backup so let's do that now so here we are over in the schedule section and this schedule will let you decide how often you actually want to back up a copy of your website it's good to do this i actually used to do this weekly for my website and have it either go to Dropbox or Drive depending on which website it was and how much storage space I had on those sites. So I always had an up-to-date copy even as a backup to hosts that do it. I really like to do this just for my own peace of mind in case something happens with the host. I still have a backup myself that I can refer to especially if you're updating content regularly like I have on some of my websites that I run right now, it's really important to have these backups and it's worth doing if you can do it for free with a free plugin like WP Vivid. So you also can choose which files you want to back up and choose where to back it up to. You have auto migration and this is the second option I'm going to go through besides the backup and restore as a way to migrate your website. I'm going to show you both of these ways. You have remote storage over here and this is going into things like Google Drive and Dropbox or OneDrive. Amazon S3, places that you can use to uh, set up your account and store it. So then we have settings over here, website info, logs, and key. And key I'm going to get into a little bit as I go through 
the auto migration process in itself here. So we're going to move over to backup and restore. And if we scroll down here, we can see that our backup is now done loading. And we can just click download to save it locally. And it's downloading now. And now that that zip file is done downloading here for wpvivid.wpwithtom.com, and that's this site right here that we just did this backup for, I'm going to go over to this site over here, this test.wpwithtom.com, and I'm going to then go down within the WPVivid backup plugin. And from right here, we have this upload setting here. We're just going to click on upload scroll down here and we're going to attach the files in there. I'm just going to just drag it over, drop it in and click upload. And you can see it's going to be uploading now. It'll take a minute to do this. And now it says it is uploaded. So it says upload a backup and tells you the date that it was done. It's kind of nice that you have these dates in the backup section and the upload sections when you actually use this plugin because then it will really help you out to know when you did your last backup or upload for your site. And after that what we have to do is click on restore over here. And then we click restore and replace original domain URL. And I'm going to click restore. Are you sure you want to continue? OK. And then it's going to go through the process of restoring these settings for the site. And this does take a moment to go through these settings. I'm going to scroll down here. It will say the restore has been completed successfully. You're going to see this finish restoring message a few times throughout the text here in this box, but wait until this message actually pops up telling you that it's been completed at the end. It only takes a moment to do so. And then we're going to have to log in. Now your login details should be the details from the original site. So from this site over here, this first one, the login details will be the same for this. So it will be WP Vivid for me in this case, and the password that I had set up on this initial site here. So if I go over here, let's just see what the new site looks like. We'll hit refresh and there it is. Our site has been cloned or migrated over to this new domain name test.wpwithtom.com. Now that's just the first way that you can do this. Next I'm going to get into showing you how you can actually do this with the key that it generates for you to back up in one place and move it to another. So we can start doing that now by going back over here to the initial site, this wpvivid.wpwithtom.com, and I'm actually going to be using a different test site than this test.wpwithtom.com on a different subdomain name with a blank install as well. So let's dive into how to do that here now and get started backing up our website again with this plugin and doing it with the auto migration settings over here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a second site, and it's going to be test2.wpwithtom.com. And I'll also open up the admin area as well. And as you can see, we already have the WP Vivid backup plugin installed on this site. And the site looks like a blank WordPress install again. So what I'm going to do is go back here to the dashboard of the second test site, this dummy site. And then I'm going to go over to where it says key, and that's under WP Vivid Backup. And then I'm just going to hit generate, and I will copy the whole key right here. I'll go back over to our regular site here, this site for wpvivid.wpvitom.com. And within the auto migration section here, we're going to just paste this key in, click save. And now the key is saved. And we can go down here, we can choose what we want to transfer. I'm just going to click transfer with the database and files for the entire website. And this will take a moment to load here as well. And I'm just going to pause the video until that finishes up. All right, so I'm back. It finished up. It says transfer succeeded. You have to refresh the backup list of the target site in WP Vivid. So I just want to point out if you're having some issues with this not going very quickly. It could be related to your host. Now, what you can actually do about that is go to settings and then change the PHP script execution timeout 
settings and lower that number. I lowered it from 900 to 600 and it was able to more quickly back up the site during this process of the auto migration here that we were just doing. And this helps a lot in just terms of speeding up everything throughout the process. Again, this might have to do with your host if you are having an issue with that, but it's not the plugin itself. So if we go back over here, we should now have it said to refresh. So I'm going to just hit refresh over here. And then I'll go to backup and restore and I'll scroll down and we should have a backup there. There it is, the one we just did. And I'll just go over here and click restore. And I'm going to be restoring with this first option here, this restore and replace original domain. And I'll hit restore and this is going to take a moment as well to just run through this process. So let's just wait until the pop-up comes up on the screen telling us that it's finished. All right, and now we got the pop-up saying the restore completed successfully. Let's just click OK. Now we're going to have to log in again with this previous site's login detail. So we're going to log in with this WP Vivid login. So I'm going to do that now. And we're just going to log in here. And now it says migration is complete. I'm just going to go and refresh the site over here, see what it looks like. And now we have the new look for test2.wp with Tom. So it transferred this over as well. It says, cheers. You've used the plugin and restored your website successfully. Consider rating us. And you can do that by just clicking on there and rating. You can see right now it's got basically almost perfect five-star review. And I suggest that you do take the time to rate them and help them out if this site helped you out, this plugin helped you out. It would be great for you to do that. And before I wrap this up, I want to thank WP Vivid for sponsoring this video. I really hope this was helpful for you out there that are trying to transfer your website or migrate your website by using one of these two methods with this plug and I hope you were able to get it done. If not, you can always reach out to WP Vivid. They have a very friendly team there that's willing to help you out and get your WordPress website moving along. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.